Well, tonight is a big hockey night here in the area, but we're not talking about the Toledo Walleye just yet. Yeah, people hit the ice in Finley to honor a fallen hero. Chase Spockman joins us in studio. Chase, what's going into making this game a reality tonight? Well, Melissa, one organizer we spoke to says it's been a whirlwind the last few weeks to put this game on. But above all, they hope the police community here knows they are all one big family. At the Cube Ice Arena in Finley, Northwest Ohio came together to honor a fallen hero. Members of the Toledo police hockey team faced off against Wood County's police team, all in an effort to raise money for the Dom Francis family. And every dollar that we can raise for the Francis family, that's what we want to do. But, you know, we're also here supporting, you know, a small Ohio community that has just suffered a tremendous loss. And if hopefully by today's game we can bring a sense of hope and healing to the folks of Bluffton, that's what we want to do. The event was put on by the First Responder Faceoff Foundation, a group that organizes charity hockey games for fallen police officers. Director Don Zender says the turnout is a reflection of a community ready to get out and show support. Obviously after Dia and Stalker we wanted to do games, but with COVID and so forth, Arenas were closed, right? We couldn't host fans. This time, fans are here, and helping with the event is the local Fraternal Order of Police. They say the event is about enjoying hockey, but also helping a family without a father. I'm hoping that the community gets the sense that we are all family. You hear about the thin blue line that surrounds law enforcement. That's what we are. And in a sense like this, Officer Francis gave his life for his community. So for his family to see the community step out and support them just means the world. Tonight, a community came together to remember Dom Francis as a hero, and heroes are not forgotten. Reporting in Findlay, Chase Bachman for WTOL 11.